I come back from a great morning at the range to an empty shop, I got nobody working. We're not doing anything, we're wasting time, and I'm losing money. Where are you at? Okay, stay there. I'll be there in a minute. Well, it looks like Joe's got my workforce down there remodeling his building. And it is still his building. One, that's really not the kind of we do without letting me in on it. Two, why am I paying him to work on a building that isn't mine? That's up. All right, drop it here. Dave, get this thing ballpark leveled in. Get it hooked up, get it rolling. Busy little uh, beavers, make huh? Make sure the, uh, the braking procedure. Dave, good to see you. Glad we got the suppressors caught up. Joseph, curious to see you. Had an early morning start. Wanted to get in here, get this new lathe up and running. I hate walking into a shop with no one in it and having to go play detective. Why in the f are our workers installing our lathe in your f building? This is absolute horse. Sh that f could have sat right over there on that patio until it, it had a place to go. It's got a place to go right here. It's not costing any money to be here. It can be Actually, it's right. cost a little bit just due to the people that are over here putting it together that could be working right now. I'm trying to get the building ready for us. So Red Jacket has a place to go. You're getting it ready for you. I don't have a building yet. The single most ridiculous thing I've ever put on a gun. You got a business plan for the end of the year. Yeah. Okay, I've heard yeah, 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 okay? Don't just dodge. I'm trying to get the building ready for us. So Red Jacket has a place to go. You're getting it ready for you. Us ain't got a building yet. I'm still waiting on a cost analysis in order to make an actual informed decision. I'm doing what I think's best, which is what my position is for. I don't have time to continue this conversation. Brother. cat dragged in. Ryan's a regular Red Jacket customer and kind of a crazy collector, so we try to keep him happy. I've got a little project for you I think you might be interested in. What you got? Taurus Judge. I'm sure you've seen it. I'm sure you're familiar with it. Do you have ammo for this? I've got tons of ammo for it. The Taurus Judge is a five-shot revolver that shoots either 410 shot shells or 45 long cold ammo. It gets kind of interesting because you can put almost anything in a 410 shot shell. All right, what else you got? Well, I've got this. I figure the first thing to make the Taurus Judge more interesting and definitely stand out, add this little belt to it. This falls into the realm of William Hayden. Stand by. Ryan is a little bit weird. Okay, scratch that is a lot weird. He has some really strange ideas when it comes to firearms. You know, I make real versions of this, right? Definitely. So what are you doing? I was getting a little bit bored shooting just a regular old Taurus. There's one thing that'll definitely make it stand out, and that's the bell on the end. <laughs> what the hell you want to do, dude? It's a breech loader. You don't need the damn blunderbuss in. That's the whole point of a contained cartridge. Hey, let's go wild and do something just completely off the wall. What do you think the bell's going to do? Well, there might be some effect. Might spread the pattern out just a little bit. The flared bell is going to have no effect whatsoever on the shot pattern. I think we could still work something out and get it going. I ain't putting a bell on the end of a revolver. Want to put a blunderbuss bell on the end of that revolver? The whole idea is ridiculous, and that is the very word that's going to get attached to anybody that's seen with it. Well, ain't going to be me. Other than not putting a bell on it, what do you want done to this thing? I think adding a buttstock to it would really enhance the way I would use it. I carry it as it is in the woods, in case we run across snakes or anything like that. All right, yeah, I'll get your stock going. Cool, I appreciate it. Dude, it's good seeing you. Oh, man, it was a pleasure. You know what I'm going to do just to prove you wrong? I'm going to work late. I'm going to put a bell on the end of this. And at the end, whenever it doesn't change the pattern at all, you're going to owe me a flat of 410 ammo. I think that'll work. All right. All right, bud. I'm going to take your toys and go into the shop, and you get out of my showroom. Scram. <laughs>